Then I got mine. You got yours? And I got mine. Yeah. A Calabogie double header. <laughs> and that's something. We came to fish. Oh, look at this. They're both coming up at once. There you go. <laughs> there we are. Let's see. Let me go around you. One more time. One more time. <laughs> this way? Yeah, this way. I okay. Think. You know, I never thought I never thought I'd come up here and dance with you. Okay. Well, we'll just here. try to get two here. Here we go. Okay. I don't know if we've got who's here. Well, I'm not gonna say it, but yours is bigger. But I'm not gonna say that. Okay. Coming up. On today's show, Bob heads to Calabogie, Ontario to meet up with tackle shop owner and local fishing expert Jim Weatherall for some non-stop walleye action. In a lake loaded with this many fish, there's no time to relax, and the next walleye is never more than a cast away. So stay tuned for Bob's pro tips on setting the hook and a record-breaking day out on the lake. What's the best day you've ever had out here? 72. 72 walleye. Yeah. Yeah. I would say we broke your uh, 70 somewhere. Oh, we certainly have. Here comes. Whoa. All right. Whoa. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Whoa. Look at that big lighter. Yeah. That thing is a monster. Oh, man. Dude. <laughs> the Real Fishing Show with Bob Izumi. Oh, yeah. All right. The Real Fishing Show. <laughs> oh, that's new. <laughs> nice one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, Bob Izumi. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, an absolute monster smallmouth. Look at that. Whoa. Real Fishing is sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water, and Tim Hortons. Now that's what I call real fishing. Well, here it is, the end of May, and I'm fishing somewhere new. Somewhere close, but new. I'm talking about five hours away from home. Up in Calabogie, just outside of Ottawa, Ontario, and I'm here with Jim Weatherall. Hey, how Jim? are you? Yeah, how you doing, man? Very good, Bob. Very well, good. it's good to get out fishing with you. We met a number of years ago. ago. Yes. You and your wife were down at the KTL show, That's the right. distributor yeah. show. Yeah. And, uh, well, here we are uh, up at Calabogie. Now, you're familiar with this area. you got Jim's Bait and Tackle. Right. That's right, Bob. What's this place called we're at here? Calabogie Lodge. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Beautiful place. We yeah. rolled in last night. We ate at uh, a restaurant called The Dock. And I'm telling you, the food there is oh, great. Yeah, it is excellent. It's right on location here. Uh, we had a great meal and uh, real, real nice guys that operate that restaurant. Now, here we are. It's uh, end of May. We might see a boat or not. Oh, Possible the odd boat, but uh, not much. Not, not much. No. Not a lot of traffic. We're gonna do some walleye fishing here, so we'll see what happens. Shall we get at her? Let's go. All right. Let's go Alrighty. get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and like, nice guy. <laughs> so do you like me so far? <laughs> oh man, have I got, I got a few jig heads. There's one. Look at that. You just lowered down. I just lowered it down. It's not a big fish. Man, Maybe. I haven't even got rigged up yet. It's it's not even it's it's a rock bass. Oh, okay. Well, there you broke the ice. No, it's not. It's a smallmouth bass. Sorry. What are you doing down there? Look at that. Well, that didn't take long at all. Nice little smallie. Hey, okay. good stuff. All righty. Well, there's another one. Another one. A little bigger fish. You're not giving me a chance to even get all my stuff out. We came to fish. There's a walleye. There's a, there's a small walleye right there. All right. Now, I would normally say, Jim, nice eating size. 
But yes, but that there has to go back. What is the uh, limit here? Like, what's the length now? It, it must be 50 centimeters, is which the ministry says 20 inches. What legally 50 centimeters is 19.7 inches. 19.7. Yeah. So you better have a ruler on board. Yes. But that's a nice little fish. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. When we return, Bob joins Jim for a walleye-filled fishing bonanza. There's another one, Bob. It's like clockwork down there. Yeah. Closed captioning is brought to you by FNCC and MotorExam.com. Funny because so many places across the country, people would love to eat a fish like oh, this. Would they ever? But here, you got to put, put them back. back. All right. You see that hook on this Max Cap jig? This is a Lindy Max Cap jig, and it's bent out a little bit. Get a better hook set, they say, with it bent out. Where the bottom is here, we're fishing the bottom here, is all mud. Yep. Yes, those fish are just scattered out on this mud uh, break right. that goes into the deep water. Deep water, yep. There's one. Yeah, I saw your rod tip. Just yeah, go yeah, boop. Yeah. And he just give it the one tip. And I just, oh, I just got one going yeah. here too. And yeah. look at this. Look at this rod. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I marked it on the graph too. They're down 30, we're in 34, 35 feet of water right here. You know, it's so great that there's that size limit here because you come out and you catch so many fish, fish yeah. in this size limit. I mean, we What's only know. It's got a leech on them? Yeah. yeah, that doesn't hurt them. Uh, I I call the ministry about them and they'll, you'll find them back down on their fins. Mm -hmm. And I was concerned and they say not to be concerned. They won't bother the, bother the fish at all. All right. You know, it's so cool fishing fishing a jig down there because look at this. Yes. Yep, there All he right. is. There he is. A double header. Another nice fish. Whoa, there he goes. Squirter. Squirter. Fishing guide up here. I'm <laughs> telling you, this fishing here is good. <laughs> there you go. Yes, yeah, sir. Now this this rod here I'm using is a, a new uh, Kumara rod from Shimano. And it's medium action, very very lightweight. You know, with the handle, handle design yeah. here, and it. Uh, with that handle design, Bob, you'd feel that bite. Oh, uh, it's so sensitive. Sensitive, yeah. Very sensitive. That's what happens when you use a minnow for a few fish. <laughs> <laughs> Good old jigging minnow. He's right in the zone at that 30, 35 foot, I think, eh? You got a good one? There we go. There we go, yes. There's another one, Bob. Yeah. Just like clockwork down there. Yeah. And I think one of the keys, though, is is today is just making it really a fish. No, that's a nice one. That is, is a nice fish. Is uh, using that electric just on low. Yeah. And uh, slowly covering the water. You know, you got you got us just dragging the jig and the minnow on the bottom and covering the water. It's just a very efficient way of fishing. Well, there's a lot of fish down there. Oh, there we go. They're just, they're just hammering it down there in that yep. deep water. 
This is what I said to you last night at the house, sir, when you said that you, it wouldn't be on if we didn't get any fish. I said, if you don't get any fish, it's your fault. <laughs> because I got we're you. Here. Yeah, um, I think, uh, what's the restaurant across the way from your place? Uh, Polly's Little Shanty. Yeah, I think they said, well, when's the show going to be aired? And uh, somebody said in the group there, and I said, well, if we don't get any fish, never. <laughs> and you said, you said, what would you say now? I said, if we, if, we, if we don't get any fish, I'll get them. You won't. It'll be your fault. There you go. Man, I'll tell you, there's so much pressure when you come up to these places <laughs> like Calabogie. Yeah. You know, so much pressure to catch fish. It's hard. I got a stressful job, and, and if you don't believe that, stay tuned. We'll be right back with some more real stressful fishing after this. Coming up. There's another double header. <laughs> Isn't that something? The walleye action kicks into overdrive, and Jim shares his wisdom on Calabogie. There's great fishing. I think it's paradise. Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. Walleye are an adaptable and widespread fish. At home in clear or muddy water, their true stronghold is in the north. With few exceptions, these drive-to or fly-in locations have some degree of tannic staining. Tea color is the description for water that can be yellow, amber, or even surprisingly red. And all these variations can occur within the same lake. Protected bays concentrate tannins, while exposed areas tend to flush out. Use this to your advantage. Dark waters absorb sunlight and warm up quickly, making them prime locations for early and late season walleye. The fish will also be shallower. As visibility improves, look deeper, down to 30 feet or more. Casting or trolling is a great way to find them. After that, jigging is standard procedure. In baits, hot colors are popular. Even so, white remains visible and effective in all conditions. Silver Flake is another winner. And whatever you do, remember to bring those perch imitations. One of the most important and overlooked considerations is jig heads. Having the right one can make a difference. If you're on fish and they slow down, systematically keep changing colors. We guarantee you'll pull a lot more walleye out of each spot. While in Calabogie, we stayed at Calabogie Lodge, which is located about an hour west of Ottawa, Ontario, and is situated on the northern end of the lake. To learn more about this beautiful location, we had a chat with our fishing guide and longtime resident, Jim Weatherall, about the town, the lake, and the surrounding area. Calabogie Lake was formed in 1912 by the uh, dam that's right here. There's uh, a good variety of fish. There's walleye, there's northerns, there's large and smallmouth bass, a good panfish, crappies, and a good perch population. There's quite a few resorts. There's the Calabogie Lodge Resort, and then we have Calabogie Peaks Resort right up at the ski hill. A lot of people come to camp, and a lot of people come to fish. I think it's paradise. If somebody's going to come and visit Calabogie, when they get here, they're going to want to come back, plain and simple. Yeah, I got All right. him. I got him. See, Mark, you got to let him take it, eh? And set the hook. I, I guess I've got to mention that my neighbor Mark's behind the camera in the back of the boat, and he wants to be on TV. And see, you know, Jim, I can't shake him no matter where I go. He just packs himself in the back of the truck. When I get there, he pops out. And I will say that Mark brought us together, Jim. This did yeah. not happen coincidentally. Mark is up looking for a place up around Calabogie. He's moving out because he's had enough of me. <laughs> he's moving out of uh, southwestern Ontario, and he's uh, he's moving up here. So, unfortunately, you guys got him down the road. You know, once he moves up here, it's your deal, okay? okay. <laughs> and, uh, well, yeah. and all I can say is that he's, he's a great guy, but, you know, there's only so much you can take of him. Yeah. And uh, we only have two microphones, one on you, Jim, one on myself. He doesn't get one, so whatever he says, you can't hear him anyway, so it's perfect. <laughs> he just said something. He told me something. Can't believe it. <laughs> I got mine. You got yours? And I got mine. <laughs> Whoa! I'd release mine real quick. Well, that's a good release. That's good that. release. Didn't have to handle yeah, that was for a lake that's 
you know, so accessible. There's yeah. just so many fish down there. So you better get this out of Mark. Oh, Mark. I didn't miss mine. No. The boys are catching fish all around me. I think I better get my bait down. You see you spit that minnow out? But look at here. What's going on? Look. Oh, Mark's feeding them. That's the problem. Somebody's feeding them. Somebody's feeding them. Little bigger fish. Oh, I got one too. Oh, okay. <laughs> There we go. There we go, Bob. You're in another one. Didn't even give me a chance to get my line back. Yeah, I think we definitely are in the zone here. In the, yeah. yeah. In the zone. They're so pretty when they come off. Hey, aren't they something else? Yeah. I like this rod. This rod is nice satin one. Yeah, that's, oh, here I got one going too. There's another double header. <laughs> and that's up. <all. laughs> and there are so many fish here. You said it wasn't a problem going out and catching them. I nope. was like, hmm, okay. Oh, this yeah. mine's a little smaller. Yeah, this is a nice one here. Yeah, you got a nice one. We switched that time. You sure you got the right rod? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. You know what I should do? I should be holding mine in front of the lens instead oh. of yours. No, 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 because yours looks bigger from that angle. <laughs> that looks a lot better that way, though. <laughs> like that, that there is la la last year's spawn. That's a yearling. That's a yearling. That's yep. a big fish. That's a big fish. That was spawned yeah. last year. Wow. Yeah. The numbers are really phenomenal. Yeah. What's, the, what's the best day you've ever had out here? 72. 72 all I Yeah. When we return, Bob explains the fine art of setting the hook and heads back out on Calabogie Lake for some great sunset fishing. This tip of the week is sponsored by Coleman. Hook sets and hooks are not all created equal. What I want to talk about on today's tip are setting the hook. One of the biggest mistakes I see over the years taking out people that don't fish a lot is properly getting the hook set. Yesterday we're catching a lot of walleyes here in Calabogie and we're using medium action spinning rods, six pound test line, thin wire max gap jigs. Well the hook set for that type of fishing, fishing in deep water with fairly limber outfits, is more of a sweep. Point the rod towards the fish, reel up, get the slack out of your line and sweep the thin wire hook into the fish. The other day I was down fishing in Mexico for bass. Well, we were using these big swim baits, these hollow belly uh, Berkeley power bait uh, swim baits. In that case, they've got a heavy hook on them. Setting the hook on these type of baits requires a heavier action rod. This is a Kumara rod. We're also using crucial rods, both in medium heavy though. Uh, this particular outfit here I was using in a pike tournament on the weekend as well over in, the, in Muskoka and uh, you know it's got a wire leader on. Once again, hook setting with a big single hook like this requires a heavier rod, heavier line and more of a snap to it as opposed to a sweep with a thin wire hook walleye fishing. I can't stress it enough, hook sets are free. You can do them all day long if you think there's something on the end of your line but if you don't set the hook, you're not going to catch a lot of fish proper hook sets. It's what it's all about if you want successful fishing. With the full morning of fishing behind us, we had worked up quite an appetite. So we headed to shore and had a quick bite at Polly's Little Shanty just across from Jim's Tackle Shop. Wasting no time, we returned to the boat and got back out on the lake to see if we could pick up where we left off. <laughs> we weren't disappointed. The walleye were still biting and we fished right till sundown. There we go. We're amongst them here, boys. Lots of fish down there. That's a bigger fish. That one. 
There we go. Just a little guy here. Gulp alive? Gulp alive. Okay. You can see him right on the grass, you know, and you just lower down this jig and gulp and bang all. Alright. I got a fish in the motor. No, I got I'm off the motor now. There's a little, little bigger run of fish this afternoon. Yep, yep. So we got two on. We got Mark's got one as well. Mark says he's got a big one on. Anything you can get on TV, that's a nice fish. With the sun behind you, it's a nice silhouette. The fish in your belly, that's really nice. <laughs> Well, we should have counted them today. I think we'd have hit a lot of fish if we counted them. What do you think, Jim? I yes. think we caught a lot today. Yes. There's a quite a bit bigger one right there. I would say we broke your uh, 70 some. Oh, we certainly have today. Yeah. Yeah. Before calling it a day, we decided to try one last spot, and Jim landed the biggest fish of our outing. Hey, great food, accommodations, and company, and plenty of fish. See you next time, right here for some more real fishing. Oh, this 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 is a fish. Here. Awesome. Yeah, nice walleye. All right. There's a nice fish. The only fitting that Jim Weatherall catches it is the sun's going down. What a way to end the day. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big fish. That is a fish of a lifetime. <laughs> well, that is just amazing. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> that was too cool. Oh man, what a fish. Look at that. <laughs> yeah.